Hi everyone, welcome to this chapter of representational state transfer or we can say it a rest. In this chapter, we will have an overview about how representational state transfer or rest works in. So rest is an API, rest API is a way of accessing web services in a simple and flexible way without having any processing. And if I talk more about the technical terms, representational state transfer is an architectural style that defines a set of constraints to be used for creating web services. So in a client server architecture, we create web services, which basically serves the client request. And their representational style transfer is an architectural style, which gives us some certain constraint. And by following those constraints, we can design a very lightweight web APIs or web services basically. So if we take a general look at the client server architecture, we have a client which basically sends requests to the server and receive response. This is a very overview of this client server architecture, but there are a lot of things happens behind the curtains. We also have databases and what actually happens is depending upon the request of the client, so, uh, our web server may consult with the database and fetch his data from that database and sends back response to the client but all this is all this is happening with the help of uh, our web services or in our particular case is rest so these apis are designed using rest architectural style and these api are basically consume, consumed by the client which the calls these API and these APIs are deployed into the web server and that web server makes request to the database and the database gives data to the back to the web server and then response is sent by the web server using this rest web API. So this is all about how representational state transfer actually works. See you in the next chapter. Thank you.